Hey, welcome back to uh, Everything Fly Fishing on our YouTube channel, and uh, thank you for always watching our videos, and welcome to this one. If you like it any time, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video for your chance to subscribe. In this video, we're going to teach you how to tie a print snip with one little teeny change, and at the end of this video, we'll tell you why we made this change. So stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how we made this little teeny change to our print snip. Now, no more talking on the video. Get a grip on your bad self, learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel, and pray that the end comes and wheels and win its way. The hotel's not alive. We started this fly, we debarbed the hook, put the bead on, and we're going to add a couple wraps of lead and push the lead up inside the bead. Now we're going to start our thread right behind the lead that we added and put it up to the, wrap it up to the bead, tie this, cinch the lead down. And then uh, I usually add head cement at this point, let it dry. Okay, now here's the change we made. And you can go and use original, but these are goose bites. We are using purple. Uh, your standard bead head Prince Nymph would use brown. So if you want to use brown, it's tied the same exact way as we use the purple ones. We use the purple ones because we fish a lot of very heavily fished water. And making this little change to the back of the fly, adding the purple instead of the the brown adds a little bit different element to so they didn't see this fly and this sometimes makes a difference and we had a lot of luck with the purple so we're going to keep tying them that way now you might have to play with these tails a little bit you want them to come out if you never tied a stone fly if you have tied a stone fly you want them like a stone fly tail but you want them to come out in a V so you might have to play with them a little bit here range around just put two loose wraps in at first until you get where you want then cinch them down Now here you want to tie in your wire, your silver wire. I like to use a thinner wire. I don't like to use the real wide stuff. Get more wraps, more ribbing look to it. So you tie in your wire here. Now I select two strands of peacock curl and you'll want to tie them in 
And I have just recently picked up UV Peacock. It's pretty neat stuff. So you tie two strands of that in. You now you want to wrap your peacock curl right up to where the bead is and tie that off. Now take notice here, when I wire, wrap this wire up to where the bead is, I go the opposite direction I wrapped the peacock in. That will help, help make the fly more durable and it will make the ribbing stick out more. Now I want to select a hen ha brown hen hackle and to prepare the feather you want to pull all the feather, the strands of the feather down towards the base of the fly. And then you want to tie in, there's going to be a little triangle piece at the tip where you don't pull the feathers back. You want to tie it in right behind that. And then you want to find that little end, the waist end, and snip that off. Now when you're pulling these feathers back to prepare the feather and when you do this step be very careful you'll pull the strands right off the feather. You want to pull them back as you're wrapping this basically hackle style around the hook. So you want to pull these feathers back as you're wrapping it around and then when you then when you get to the I think you only get one wrap it's basically what I got and then tie it off and then you, when you pull the hackle fibers back, you should be able to see the very tips of them. You want to like one thread wrap over just maybe the tips to hold them so they're going straight back and not sticking up in the air. You want to kind of pull them back, add a thread wrap so they stay back. Now you want to take your scissors in and carefully trim off the hackle fibers right directly on top of the fly. Now you want to get white goose bites, you tie them in on top. And I usually use the biggest ones I can find. I want them to be a little wider, so I don't want them to stick out when they're on top. And using the real small, skinnier ones doesn't make this. So you want to make them as about a little bit longer than the body, the fly just a teeny bit longer than the body. And you want to tie them in a V. Now you can tie these in together, put the V, hold them down and tie them in. 
I like doing one at a time. So you put one in at an angle, you tie it down, you clip it, you hold it with your, get it to where you want it, hold it down with your finger, wrap a couple thread wraps around it, then cut the uh, waist off, and take the other one, put it at an angle. It'll almost be at the same angle as your tail. And being a V, not quite a, a much of an angle, but. And you tie that one in and you cut off the waste material, wrap a couple thread wraps. And I think here I've shown you what it's supposed to look like when they're on top. Now you add some whip finishes, cut that your line off, and there you have it, the finished print snip. And if you're fishing heavy pressured water, try this on your different flies. Try different little things. I'll, you'll notice in a lot of flies I do, even like my basic pheasant tail, I'll add like a, a flash rib instead of a gold rib or something that makes it different than all the flies these fish been seeing all day long. We fish a lot of heavy pressured water. If you're fishing more where it's more native fish and they don't see much pressure, you might want to tie it more realistic and not add the different changes. But we fish a lot of pressured water and these little changes sometimes makes the difference in the fly that they didn't see before. So thank you for watching. Here's a Prince Nymph. Hey, hey, welcome to the end of our video. Hope you like our version of the Prince Nymph. Excuse me. We tie in a purple tail, like I said. We just so kind of like to make these changes in our flies. We fish real heavy, heavy fished waters, <coughs> and I've tied them up with the brown and the purple tail, and I've had just as much luck with the purple tails as I had the brown. So we keep using the purples. We make a lot of changes. We experiment on the water with them, uh, so you don't get to see the video till the fly works. You know, get to see all the many dozens of flies I've tried, and they did not work. They just, it change was too big. But if you pre fish pressured water, try a little changes in your flies and carry both in your box and see if it might work. Because just that little change might make a difference. Because they are used to seeing the same flies day after day. Might make it ch help, yeah, a little bit. Uh, if you like this video at any time, give it a thumbs up. It helps us to get ban from getting banned on Facebook or blocked. Um, we end up Facebook jail a lot when we post to these groups. I'm sure you, most, over half of our people watch us on Facebook groups. Uh, so make sure you like it. Subscribe. Subscribe gives us an opportunity to give you more giveaways. Like we're trying to work with a post fly box, subscription box. When they send you tying materials or flies in the mail and they just don't want to work with us till we have more subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. It gives you an opportunity to give you more giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, the guy that won the 200 subscribers giveaway never got back to me with his address. So if you're watching this and I mentioned your name, go back. Here, I'll put a link right here. If you know this guy, try and get him to give us his address. Now, if you are the winner... And your name's mentioned in that video up there. Get a hold of us. Go to Facebook. There's a link on this YouTube channel. If you go through and there's a Facebook link there. Send us a private message on Facebook. Give us your address and we get this stuff shipped out to you. If you don't get back to us with this and soon, we'll probably redo another giveaway and give it away. Because, I don't know, maybe he just doesn't want the stuff we were going to give him. I don't know. But, thank you for watching like always. 
uh, stay tuned to our videos. We're not, I know this is bad. We should have a schedule so we can say, hey, meet us. We do a video every other weekend. Uh, we're doing one today. Um, we are got a lot of time on our hands at this time in, of the year, so we are going to do videos. I'm not particularly scheduled. We're just going to keep posting them when we have time to do them. We're not busy doing other stuff. So, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our tying videos. And now's the time to tie. It's winter. Get ready for your fishing season. So keep them lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. Thank you for the end of our video where you can watch fishing videos here, tying videos here, subscribe here, and here's a video just for you. And make sure you hit this button right here. It's very important to, for our giveaways and stuff.